Hello, I'm John Doe. In this video, I'll be showing you how to convert Source Engine maps and use them in Call of Duty. The process is simple, and it doesn't require much work thanks to the tool that I wrote. You just need to complete a few steps and let Corvid do all the heavy lifting. Only elementary modding knowledge is required. To use Corvid to convert a source map, you need to have the following. A game built on Source Engine. It can be any game as long as it fulfills this requirement, like Counter-Strike Global Offensive, Left 4 Dead 2, or Black Mesa. We also need to use BSP Source to decompile maps, and optionally, GCF Scape, just in case the maps are stored in VPK files. You can find Corvid on the project's GitHub page and download the latest version from the Releases section. The link to Corvid and all the other tools are in the video's description. After you have all the tools you need, you can start by decompiling the map you want to convert. Go to the directory where the game is installed and find the directory where the maps are stored. It depends on the game, but usually you can find the maps in the folder named after the shortened version of the game's name. For example, you can find the maps of Counter-Strike Global Offensive in the folder called CSGO. Or you can find the maps of Half-Life 2 in the folder called HL2. If you can't find any BSP files, you will probably find them in a VPK file. Just open the VPK files which end with underscore dirt.vpk with gcfscape, look for the maps folder, find the BSP file you want, and extract it. Now you can launch BSP source and decompile the BSP file of the map using it. Just drag and drop the BSP file on BSP source and hit decompile. But if the map happens to have assets embedded into it, you also need to go to the other tab and tick extract embedded files. For demonstration purposes, I'll be converting Mirage from CSGO. This is one of my favorite maps from that game and I've had many good memories in it, but the tool should work with any map. Source Engine uses 3D skyboxes to add extra detail outside of the boundaries of the map without taxing your system. They're basically small constructions projected onto the 2D skybox about 16 times bigger than they actually are. If you want to export the map with the 3D skybox converted, you need to open the map in Hammer Editor, find where the 3D skybox is built, and select everything inside the 3D skybox. You can easily select it all from the top-down view by simply covering it like this and pressing Enter. After selecting it, press right mouse button and go to Properties. Click on the Edit Groups button and create a new group. It is important that you name it 3D Skybox without any spaces as Corvid will look for that name specifically to determine which objects are included in the 3D Skybox. After creating that viz group, just tick the box next to its name in the list and then click Apply. To make sure you have created a new viz group and included the 3D Skybox in it, you can hide and unhide the 3D Skybox viz group. After you're done with the 3D Skybox, you can save the map and close Hammer. Now you can launch Corvid to start converting the map for Call of Duty. Since this will be the first time you're launching Corvid, it's going to ask where Steam is installed on your computer. Corvid needs this information to be able to find your games and extract the assets from them easily. You can change your Steam directory later by going to Settings and then Set Steam Directory. You also need to tell Corvid what game you want to export the assets from. Just go to Settings, select Game Profile, and choose the game you want to export the assets from. If BSP Source has extracted any other assets, like models or materials, you also need to add that folder in the folders list using the Add button here. After that, you can go to File and select the VMF file. Choose the decompiled VMF file you created using BSP Source. You can skip converting the models and the materials if you have converted the map before but lost the converted map file. You don't need to take these options if this is your first time converting a particular map. Once everything's ready, 
select the game for which you want to convert the map and then hit convert and then select the directory where you want the map and the assets to be exported. The conversion will probably take about 10 to 30 minutes depending on the map size and the number of the assets used as well as your computer. After the conversion has finished you will see a directory with the same name as the VMF file. Copy and paste all those directories where your game is installed. If you have converted the map for an older COD title like COD 4, World at War or Black Ops 1, you also need to go to bin and run the bat file created by Corvette to convert all the materials and the models exported with the map. Before running that file, make sure converter exe is not set to run as admin, otherwise the conversion of assets may not go as intended. Now that everything has been converted, you can open the map in Radiant. As you can see, pretty much everything has been converted pretty accurately. If you want to use the global illumination settings and the skybox texture of the map converted by Corvid in Black Ops 3, use the SSI called map name underscore SSI. In older COD games, those settings are automatically included in the world spawn settings. In most cases, it converts the color and the angles of the sunlight properly, but it might require manual tweaking in maps taking place in a darker setting. You will also see lots of reflection probes around the map. You can keep them or use them as a reference while placing reflection probes on your own. While the map file is being created, you might see a warning about some brush faces not getting converted because of having less than three vertices. This is rarely an issue as those brush faces are very small ones that the players cannot see, but sometimes a few normal sized brush faces might not get converted at all. Hopefully I'll have fixed that issue by the time the beta testing phase is over. Decals and overlays are also not converted. I'm planning to add support for them, but they are more complicated than brush geometry, so it might take a long while to implement that feature. For now, these are all the bugs and issues that I'm aware of. If you encounter any other bugs or issues, you can report them on Corvid's GitHub page. You can also have a look at its source code and even contribute to it. Don't forget to like and subscribe to follow the development of my tools. And if you'd like to support me and want me to continue working on new tools, consider supporting me on Patreon. Thanks for watching.